I'm going to be honest. I don't want to do this. I, 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 I don't. I, I do not, I don't, 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 I don't. <laughs> I really don't want to review this album. <sighs> but for the good of the channel and for the good of all of you fine folks watching, I will. I will. I will bear it. I will grin it. I, I will do all of that. Well, just please, please pray I make it out okay. Hello and welcome to another installment of Metallic Reviews, the show where I take an honest look at the harder, heavier side of music and give it an honest rating. And that's... God. You watched the open. You know I don't want to do this. <sighs> cattle decapitation. What? What? Why? Cattle decapitation. Uh, just ah. ah. I'm gonna try like heck to be as fair as possible on this one, because we're going to San Diego today. We're, we're gonna be reviewing an album by a band with a vocalist that has more hatred for humanity than a lot of former and current world leaders. I mean, seriously. It's cattle decapitation. I don't even know. I, I I don't have to tell you about their albums or the way that they structure them or or, or or the lyrical content. I definitely don't have to tell you about the lyrical content. But oh my goodness, we're gonna be getting into that. A anyway, they got a new album out. It's called Terracide. It came out May twelfth. It's on Metal Blade. And the strange thing is, it's a great album. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Um, it's good. It's really really good. Now we'll. We'll get into some of the problems I have with with some of it a little later on. It's definitely not a perfect album, but musically speaking, it's good. You know, their previous album, Death Atlas, was well received by their fan base, a lot of critics, and I don't know the two people that support PETA. But but what's sad is that these guys write some severely terrific deathcore, and then they populate it with Travis Ryan's viewpoints. So, like I said, I'm gonna try and be as fair. An objective and on oh for for heaven's sake I'm this is an opinionated channel these are reviews by definition I can't be objective these are subjective you know spoiler alert Ryan doesn't exactly care for the human race and he makes it absolutely clear from the get go I mean it's in the freaking album title it's in the album title I just you know and that's certainly nothing new for these guys but. Before I get too crazy about that, let's go ahead and jump in and judge the music behind all the cringeworthy lyricism and aesthetic, shall we? Now, this is another deathcore album that's kind of following the recent trend of making albums with massive sounds, massive songwriting, massive vocals, and just general massiveness. I mean, deathcore has really gone huge here in the last few months, and especially uh, it bleeding over into last year. I mean, everything about this album is gigantic, from the production to the tone to the siren-like sound effects used at the beginning of one of the songs. It's all one big slab of deathcore, and uh, again, I'm kind of here for it. I, I mean, it sounds absolutely incredible, and the songwriting on here might be the best of the year so far. It definitely rivals my current pick for album of the year. Now, what's truly impressive is that Cattle Decapitation are able to write deathcore that's incredibly catchy and listenable without canceling out an ounce of that raw heaviness that's really so attractive about the genre. They've kind of picked up where Lorna Shore left off with Pain Remains last year, only this album is better. Yeah, I said it. This album is better than Pain Remains. Why? Because they've dropped the attempt at making Deathcore this overly symphonic thing, return to its roots, yet still maintained everything that Lorna Shore tried to accomplish on that album. There are enough touches of bands like Suicide Silence and Chelsea Grin on here to balance out the band's homages to black metal vocals and more traditional chorus-based songwriting. In short, there are many layers here, and uh, a lot of them just work on a, a number of different levels. The guitar work is some of the best that Deathcore has ever had to offer, certainly some of the best I've ever heard, and it all starts with their willingness to move away from the breakdown. Now, I know Deathcore fans in the comments are going to decry me for saying that, but it's true. Deathcore very often 
it finds its breakdown and, and it writes around it and and it gets a little old uh, a little fast. Now, there are breakdowns on this album, but they're not the focal point of the song. Instead, it's these terrific internal transitions between the typical fast-paced staccato picking style found in the deathcore world and the strummed legato riffage found in other less harsh subgenres. It all works together to bring a deathcore experience that is one of the best I've ever heard. From there, you move on to uh, Dave McGraw's insane, frenetic, yet somehow intensely controlled performance behind the kit, and Olivier Pinard's bass lines, and you have one of the most complete albums of the year. Well, almost. No album would be complete without the vocalist, and I would be... <sighs> Remiss if I didn't praise Ryan's outstanding effort on this record. Seriously, though, this is actually a very, very good vocal performance. From guttural grunts and punishing lows to shrieks that would rival Will Ramos, Travis Ryan has given the metal vocal performance of the year so far. Honestly, I don't know if anybody's going to be able to top this. I know we got a long way to go till December, but I really don't think anybody's going to be able to top this. Even his clean vocals are unique, and I use clean very, very loosely. They kind of sound like a combination of Lemmy, Brian Johnson, and that guy from Accept put through computerized software, and maybe a meat grinder. That's the only way I could think of to describe what I've just heard. Finally, there's the excellent production. It's crisp, it's clear, but it pushes itself in just the right way to make you feel uneasy and uncomfortable. Ryan sits at the very top of the mix during certain sections, and then the vocals fade into the atmosphere as the rest of the band envelops it at just the right time. Producer David Otero has uh, produced and recorded with groups as diverse as Cobalt, Archspire, and even Chemist. And by the way, speaking of Otero, if you haven't checked out Chemist's single where the cold wind blows that Otero recorded, just go check it out. It it's awesome. Anyway, Otero produced one of my favorite albums of 2021, which was Archspire's Bleed the Future. So it's really no wonder that I dig the production on this album so much. Now we get to the one thing, the one solitary thing holding this album back from sheer metallic symphonic deathcore perfection. The lyrics. Oh, the lyrics. The lyrics, the lyrics, the lyrics. This is some of the absolute worst schlock I've ever seen from Travis Ryan, and it gets old really quickly. Travis Ryan doesn't like humans and wants us all to basically be the victims of a massive genocide. Yeah, like we didn't know that already. Oh, and, and I know this is such a shock, but Ryan doesn't like it when people have kids or eat meat or do anything that might have a small sliver of an impact on the environment. Now look, I'm not someone who supports littering or trashing the world or anything like that, but I'm also not going to go so far as to advocate for the entire destruction of the human race because one person believes in it. Generally, we call that evil and wicked, and you should probably go to jail and do hard time for saying things like that. But, aside from that, the album's great. One of the best of the year. I'm just sick of Travis Ryan's perpetual, ridiculous, shameful hatred for humanity. Terrasite gets a strong four and a half out of five. Thank you so much for watching. Click like and please don't forget to subscribe for more metallic reviews. Next time, we're going to be heading into post metal territory to check out the Ocean, or if you want to call them this, the Ocean Collective's new album, Holocene. I hope you join me. You've been watching Metallic Reviews, where I give honest ratings to honest music. I will see y'all next time.